Where do you start with this story? Very simple philosophy, three words, people, service, profit. Hire good people, take care of those people. They'll give good service. You don't have to look at the financial statements because the numbers are gonna be there. So, but the key factor in that is people. Look at Christ Transportation. One of the things that's attractive about what Tim Christ does is his focus is very much on how do I partnership with that school district. We've got to do something to make it a lot more interesting and make those jobs something that would challenge people who want to be in those positions because it's a mission-driven business. You're providing children access to education and able to get to school and some, in some cases even to the point where they get their first meal that day by going to school. It's not just about making money, although it's a good business and we can make a return. And so if we don't change the old ways and start looking at this, how we transform it and attract talent, the industry is just going to stagnate. At the end of the day, the most important thing is getting kids to school on time and safely. We have no idea what these kids are going through today, particularly in this environment. And they need to smile and say good morning and smile and say good afternoon as hard as that can be when they're fighting each other coming up the stairwell. Because that may be the only smile and the only good morning or good afternoon they get. You know, we will support those drivers because they are our people and they're out there representing us. So we need them more than ever and we need them to do a good job because we're trying to build a culture as well that people want to work for you. Don't treat them like a number. Treat them like a person. Treat them the way you want to be treated. And I honestly think that's why we are successful and why people want to work for us because we do have that reputation. We believe in morale. We, as management, none of us matter if we don't have drivers. So, I mean, it is a very rewarding job, and sometimes you don't realize the impact. And we've had kids come up to us already that said, you know, thanks for taking an interest in me, because I don't know where I'd be if you wouldn't have. So, I mean, that goes a long way. That's more than any, that anybody can pay you. It, it's just what we do, because we're a family. Uh, school busing can be very rewarding. Uh, you get attached to those kids you transport. They look at you first time in the morning. You know, they establish that relationship and that they're a factor in those children's lives. I take pride in that. I know our drivers take pride in that. You know, I know Access takes pride in that. My name's Carl Hampton. I'm the terminal manager here at Christ Transportation within the Central Dolphin School District. Hello, my name is Bobby Bacon. I'm Wayne Robinson. Hi, I'm Joan Davis. Hello, my name is Tim Christ, president of Christ Transportation. They get to see these kids every morning. They feel like they're a part of their lives. And they, they, they feel like they're making an impact and a, and a, a, a big difference in, in, in their community. They're the heart. They're the heart of the organization. Without them, children don't get to school, and they have to know how important their job is. Like Wayne said, they are professional drivers. They're there every day to support our families and to get children to and from school so they can be provided that education that they need. They are our heroes. Our school bus drivers are our heroes, and it is so important that they understand how important they are to the community. And we want to make sure that you know, we all have stressors in our life. And we want to make sure when they come to work, we can kind of take some of those stressors away by having supportive staff, having a leadership management that is there for them. It has compassion. They have coworkers that they can lean on. We've got a big community here of bus drivers, different locations, the company as a whole. Um, but to, to, to pick up on what Bobby was saying, and you know, we're in the heroes bus, right? They're heroes, and, and, and if you look at it, you break it down, they're out there every day, fundamentally by themselves. They're dealing with the traffic, which we all know can be very problematic. Um, safety conditions there. Um, and then just children, you know, the kids might be having a good day, a bad day. So you're dealing with that, and you're, and you're responsible for up to... Sometimes 90. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And we're telling them, hey, not only do we want you to do that, but we trust you to do that, and we'll do everything we can. But look, I, I, I've driven a school bus. You know, 
I don't know how they do it day in and day out, okay? I don't mind helping out. It's great. It's It, it, it helps everybody see that we're just as dedicated to the, to, to the job that needs to be done, but doing it every day, you know, kudos. Having it sit out here at Central Dolphin for the past week, and as you drive by on the highway, and you see what it says on the side of the bus, heroes, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I think the, 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 the prospect of having this at hiring events lets folks know while they're thinking about whether or not they want to come work for us, what we really think about our drivers. Mm -hmm. That they're heroes. It's literally right on the side of the bus. Perfect way to end it. All right. <laughs> Woo!